Yo, what's good, players? If you're new here, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button because you guys are gonna enjoy this video huh? because we're gonna be talking about the brand new T-Rex fruit, which could be one of the best fruits in Blocks Fruits right now. As you guys may know, Blocks Fruits has kind of been having a thing for furries. In the last couple of months, Blocks Fruits have dropped three huh? new furry fruits. Huh? And I know you're probably sitting there like, number school, a T-Rex doesn't have fur. It's not a furry. It has scales. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before, buddy. If that's your argument, go ahead and explain this furry meter to my right. Anyways, I'm not here to argue. I'm here to talk to you guys about why this could be the best fruit ever. If we take a look at the Blocks Fruits wiki, there is now officially eight beast fruits, and the most recent one being T-Rex. Mammoth was actually right before that along with Kitsune, but if we take a look at Mammoth, it is worth 2.7 million or 2350 Robux, which is interesting because the T-Rex is the exact same cost. So in this video, I'm going to be putting it to the test. Huh? Is it going to be worth getting over Mammoth or even getting over Kitsune? Because it is a budget fruit. Keep that in mind. Kitsune Kitsune costs 4,000 Robux, while this is nearly half that cost. If you're in the market of getting a budget beast fruit, keep watching this video and make sure to watch the whole thing because we're going to absolutely destroy people's cheeks. We're going to be creating the most dirtiest combos the whole Blocks Fruit scene has ever seen. Huh? But of course, before we get into our first fight, we got to roll a fruit. It's tradition. We got to see if this video is going to be an absolute banger or if it's going to be a dog water video because we have bad luck. There's only one way to find out, boys. Let's go ahead and get a fruit. And actually, oh my gosh, guys, this is going to be the worst video you've ever seen seen because we got the smoke fruit and i do not want this nobody should get that fruit but with that out of the way let's go find our first victim boys and boys i think we found our first victim let's go ahead and try clapping him using the x ability and perfect he does have his pvp on we could go ahead and try comboing bro and oh i almost had him but he's afk actually <laughs> if i would have landed that god human ability he would have not been able to move anyways this is such a strong fruit i could already tell but just by using those three abilities what do you boys think i thought that was pretty strong for just three abilities not including my fighting style and what the heck kind of avatar is that that's kind of sick i'm not gonna lie bro's got a little cat controlling a robot but he is a furry but i mean i can't be talking i got three tails huh? what is this a kitsune this is kind of perfect we could go ahead and try destroying a kitsune and see which beast fruit is better let me just go ahead and combo broski and he is stuck in a combo oh my gosh 11.3 thousand bounty and he was not able to move out of my combo i think this kitsune user is back for his revenge but there's only one way to find out let's go ahead and try comboing broski if he's even willing to fight. I think he's here to fight. I'm not sure. And yes, he is. He does have his PvP back on. Let's go ahead and deal some damage to him. Go ahead and do our leap on him. And wait a second. He's got some McDonald's Wi-Fi. He is floating and teleporting five years later after the combo ends. Let's just go ahead and, you know, suck him up using this. And wow. Yeah, it's either he's lagging or this fruit just stuns people for a really long time. So far, after spending 2350 Robux, I actually enjoy this fruit a lot. The damage and combo potential is 100% there. And once again, using my observation i noticed some max level players back at jungle now huh? another kitsune user looks like he's trying to get up to my face i can't tell oh wait he's saying my name uh oh that was a fan but i kind of feel bad i have to combo him it's for the video buddy it's for content oh my gosh i feel bad <laughs> and wait a second it turns out these guys are also fans huh? this guy's offering to give me a three out of three on him so i'm just gonna take one i just want to see how i could do this combo perfectly we're gonna use the x ability then we're gonna use the c and the c combo with god human and wow did i just discover the first perfect combo with t-rex this is a lot of fun using this fruit keep in mind boys i didn't even use the m1 click ability like the kitsune fruit has as well the abilities are very similar and this guy just wants to give me his three out of three i don't want to take all your bounty buddy but i appreciate you let's go to the second seat and go see if we can compete against even more sweatier players we need to put this fruit to the absolute maximum stress test but now that we're in the second seat boys i already noticed there is a big giant t-rex over there just posted up chilling i hope this dinosaur is ready to pvp and i hope he's not a AFK because I want to go out here and clap some cheeks in the second C. I got to put this fruit to the test. Everybody's using it right now, but like I said, I want to prove if it's worth it or not. Huh? Should you save up your Robux to buy Kitsune or should you settle for the dinosaur fruit? Let's find out, boys. I think I may have found my first target. We got to go up to him and then use the X ability to start our combo. And oh my gosh, where the heck did bro go? Did I send him flying all the way over there? Is that him all the way right there? There is no way that's him. And oh, maybe it is because he's got the cursed old katanas and that's what I just got hit by. Let's go ahead and try combo comboing broski real quick go ahead and hit him with that and please don't die yet i want to go ahead and just combo him there we go the x ability from the dinosaur fruit got him huh? this guy's just watching it happen i don't know about you guys but i'm slapping clapping and dapping cheeks up with this fruit and it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie boys i might get myself in a situation where i have to 1v3 it looks like there's three buddies going to the coliseum but there's only one max level player so i kind of want to clap him i'm not gonna lie let's go ahead and do that combo on him and oh my gosh he's got the shark race but that doesn't even matter i'm gonna be honest he 
he's getting absolutely clapped right now and I can't even tell where he's going. He's just trying to run for his life at this point, boys. But he's not getting away. All I have to do is just slap him with a nice combo here and he's in some serious trouble. There we go. 8.9 thousand bounty. Not only that, boys, but I noticed how easy it was to combo him in air. I'm not gonna lie, the Kitsune fruit kind of struggles in air combat. I think the reason why this T-Rex is so good is because of the X ability. You can use that and it's like a giant area of effect. It's like a giant circle around you, so it's almost impossible to miss. Boys, I am currently hunting down a max level player over there. I don't know what fruit he's using, and wait a second. That's Kitsune out in the distance. Okay, we're gonna be fighting a transformed Kitsune in the second C, who's max level. Hopefully, this guy puts up a better fight than everybody else I've fought so far. Let's go ahead and hit him with a predatory screech, and oh my gosh, he's kind of fast. But don't worry, I still have faith in this T-Rex fruit. There we go. We're dealing some damage, and wait a second. There's two Kitsunes? Bro, what's up with all these furries? I want the max level one, so I'm gonna go chase him down, even if it's the last thing I do. Go ahead and combo him there. Hit him with a tail swipe. Use the Soul Sucker 3000. And what the heck? Oh, he got dodged. All right, I need to go ahead and get my transformation up too. My furry meter isn't all the way there. I gotta deal some damage with this fruit to get it up. Let's go ahead and try to hit him with the tail swipe, but he is dodging everything. What if I hit him with the C ability here? And there we go. We hit him, and now we could transform. Let's go ahead and try destroying bro's cheeks with the T-Rex fruit. There we go. We are dealing some good damage to this guy. Wait a second. A Kitsune can walk on water, but a T-Rex can swim in water because I got the shark race, bruh. This is literally like a cheat code. I'm just as fast as him too, which is the sad part. <laughs> this fruit is literally half the cost. I destroyed that guy. Now, what about that guy over there? What's going on over here, buddy? Mind if I have a chat with you? I just want to talk, bro. Don't run. Let me go ahead and chomp a Kitsune user. Come here, buddy. Let me go ahead and suck you in real quick. Go ahead and hit you with that screech. Go ahead and chomp you. And oh my gosh, I just bit a Kitsune. Man, I am liking this T-Rex fruit a little too much. It's like a cheaper, better version of Kitsune almost. This is kind of scary because I feel bad for everybody that, uh, you know, spent 4,000 Robux, including myself. If I could get as much damage as a Kitsune and be able to swim in water if I have Shark Race for half the price, I think I'd be pretty upset. But it's all good. We're gonna go ahead and destroy him right now. What's going on, broski? I went ahead and just slashed back at him and got 11.3 thousand bounty. This fruit is too overpowered for the cost. What's even a bonus is how funny you look walking. I mean, bro, look at how I wobble on two legs. <laughs> now it's time to go face the most sweatiest players of all in the third C, boys. This is the final stage, boys. This will determine if getting T-Rex is worth it because we are now in the third C, the most sweatiest C of all, where grass doesn't exist. We don't know what grass is. We don't touch grass. We don't go outside or see the sun. So if we're able to clap people here, then you know it's a good fruit. I ended up going to the Sea Castle because I noticed somebody out here with the uh, outside of Sea Castle safe zone. And he does have his PVP on. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try comboing broski. But well, hold on. Bro's got a little bit of McDonald's Wi-Fi going on. The combos aren't even like working on broski, but it doesn't matter because he ran away and got clapped anyways. And while I'm here, I did notice another high level player over here. Oh yeah, I can't wait to clap this guy. Let's go ahead and use our X ability and we're sucking him in. Then going to go ahead and use our C ability, comboing him midair. Keep that in mind. We are absolutely destroying everybody right now. This thing is broken, man. I cannot deny it. We're gonna go ahead and just keep slashing. We're gonna do slash versus slash. Who's stronger, Buddha or dinosaur? Let's find out. I'm just gonna only slash him to death. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna, you know, kill him a little bit faster. This is kind of slow. Let's just go ahead and do the C ability, the X ability, suck him up, go ahead and do the Z, god human, and he is dead. But to be honest, boys, this is not convincing enough. I want to fight those guys that never get off blocks fruits. I'm talking about those people that only strictly PvP. So with that being said, let's go find them. And I think we found our first victim. He's over here waiting to fight and maybe he's running away. I can't tell. But if we take a look at the leaderboard, there is somebody here with 15.5 million bounty, which is good enough for me. Maybe this is him over here. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and use that combo on him and oh my gosh. Okay, I instantly deleted him and yikes. I'm just gonna leave this guy over here because he's doing his quest. I kind of bullied him. What about this guy over here at Sea Castle? I've been going back and forth just to see if I could stop everybody from fighting. From the looks of it, it's looking pretty well. I just gotta make sure to land these combos in midair and whoa, he's got the dark fruit. Bro thinks he can juke me out? Think again, broski. I'm gonna get you even if it's the last thing I do. He is running around midair, but little does bro remember. I got the dinosaur fruit right now. I can suck him up and make him stop. Wait a second. That kind of sounds, uh... That's not what I meant, but you guys get the idea. 8.9 thousand bounty. Well, boys, we did a lot of clapping in this video, so I want you guys to be the judge. Do you guys think this is a budget version of Kitsune? Because personally, if I had to choose this or Mammoth, I think I would choose a T-Rex. They both cost the same, and they're both really strong, but T-Rex is just a little bit better in my opinion. By a little, I mean a lot. I'm not gonna lie. So with that being said, boys, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, you guys know what to do. Break that subscribe and like button. Make sure to click on one of these videos on screen. Peace.